friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hyper mature morganian cataract let us do a safe surgery for this 80 year old lady the patient belongs to very poor socio economic category financial strength is very less cannot afford fecal emulsification and moreover if we do feco there are a lot of risks in such cases free floating nucleus no epinuclear support jonule can be weak and in this case we are going to see that the anterior capsule is fibrous to lot of challenges are there in fecal emulsification so let us do a safe surgery for this 80 year old lady superior rectus pridal suture has been placed and now conjunctival peritomy is being done so we have planned sics in this case the size of the wound is about 7 mm in this case the wound could have been small but let us think of many colleagues or young surgeons who have learned sics not many days ago who don't have lot of experiences let us think of them and those colleagues are going to get this kind of patients more than us let them do a safe surgery for this very old lady so conjunctival peritomy has been done weight field cautery has been completed and now we are going to make the main incision with a 15 number bart parker plate this is about half thickness scleral incision mild frown incision and not very far from the limbus about 1.5 mm away from the limbus and now let us do the tunnel let us check the depth of the wound and then go forward into clear cornea for about 1.5 to 2 mm and i sweep backward and to the left and make the tunnel on the left side from center to left yes it is done once this is done i do the rest of the sclerocorneal tunnel from center to the right at this time i sweep backward and to the right and go into clear cornea for about 1.5 mm so a nice sclerocorneal tunnel has been made and now i release the superior rectus pridal suture and I'm going to make this side port at 9 o'clock and on more side port on the uh, left side because this may be necessary for cortical clean up it is not a good idea to clean cortex through the main wound because the anterior chamber may be shallow and we can touch the corneal endothelium so it is better to do cortical clean up through side ports 
So now the anti capsule has been stained with trypan blue dye and see the appearance of the anterior capsule. The anterior capsule is fibrosed in the center and at 6 o'clock. So let us see what happens during capsulorexis. This is a long unedited video for the surgeons who are doing SICS, the young surgeons and colleagues who are having less, less experience in surgery. So I have opened the tunnel from center to the right because this will be necessary if I use uh, uterata forces. And now I am incising the capsule with this needle, 26 gauge span needle and as I make a puncture, milky fluid comes out. Now I use the Simco, 23 gauze Simco cannula to aspirate this milky fluid. After aspirating the milky fluid, 2% SPMC is injected again and the antechamber is formed nicely and now I'm going to use the uterita forceps hold the capsule capsular tag but I failed I could not hold it so inject some more visco and apply the visco over the cornea for better visibility and now I have asked for the needle again and using the needle to yes there was a fibrous tissue it got torn or it got beyond that periphery and now here I'm going to use the uterita again because I cannot move the capsule with the needle anymore. So I take the uterator, hold the capsule now and as I go to 5.30 o'clock I meet the thick fibrous band and if I pull the capsule I feel great resistance. If I pull it vigorously I am going to tear the jonio. So, what to do now? I try to cut the band through the main incision, but it is very cumbersome. I could not do that. Inject some more visco. Now, I am going to enlarge the side port at 9 o'clock by the 2.8 millimeter keratome because I am going to use the Vana scissor and it will require this size of wound. And now I introduce the Vana scissor and cut the band at this space. And hope I will be able to do the Rexis now. Let us see. Now I use the uterator through this side port because the side port is now enlarged. It is about 2.8 millimeter now and now I hold the capsule and yes now I can do the rexis. So 
this is a very tough case even for fake emulsification this is a very tough case so Rexis is done and now I'm going to open the tunnel completely the tunnel has been opened only on the right side now I am going to open the tunnel completely from on end to the other end the length of this tunnel is about 7 millimeter in hypermature morganian cataract the nucleus is usually small but you never know it can be very large also but in this case the nucleus is of moderate size and now I'm going to remove the capsule which is fibrosed and very thick and you can see this is the fibrous tissue and now the nucleus has to be prolapsed into the anterior chamber thorough irrigation of the ocular surface it will improve visibility and now inject some visco fill up the anterior chamber and I'm going to bimanually prolapse this nucleus into anterior chamber take two Sinsky hooks one hook goes behind and the other rotates the clear and it has come out and I have placed one equator at the tunnel now I inject visco from side port and depress the posterior lip and gently it comes out so this is called visco expression I have injected visco through the side port I have depressed the posterior lip of the main wound and the nucleus has come out and now we are going to do some cortical wash most of the cortex is has turned into milky fluid but still there are some lens fibers we have to remove those lens fibers I'm going through the right side port and removing the lens fibers from all around from 11 o'clock to 6 o'clock it is so satisfying to see that the posterior capsule is intact in cataract surgery the results go drastically down once we cause a rent or should not cause say cause once a rent happens because most of the time the rent is because we have less experience or we don't care much so if we give quality time to each patient the incidence of posterior capsular rent can reduce a lot 
now I'm going to implant an intraocular lens in this case I'm going to use a foldable intraocular lens because the rigid lens of appropriate diopter was not in stock and this is how I place the lens I depress the optic with the help of a Sensky hook and the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag then I go through the right side port and place the trailing haptic in the capsular bag yes the lens is now nicely placed in the capsular bag and now our job is to remove the viscoelastic substance that we have used for implanting this intraocular lens so I'm irrigating some BSS or ring elected if you can if you're using whatever fluid you are using irrigate for some time irrigate the capsular bag irrigate the anterior chamber and after some time you start aspirating the viscoelastic substance yes a nice job has to be done for every patient and I'm just going to check if the wound will be nicely sealed or not whether the wound requires any suture or not yes it doesn't require any suture after checking that I'm going to place a releasable suture to oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus this is how you put a releasable suture just take the bite and leave it now see how much the conjunctiva comes to the limbus by a subconjunctival injection of gentamicin and dexamethasone. Before that, I'm going to close the side ports. BSS or ring lactate is injected into corneal stroma on either side of these side ports, and the side ports close. and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and now form the anterior chamber very nicely place the seam at the main wound like this and form the anterior chamber check the intraocular pressure and now inject subconjunctival gentamicin and dexamethasone near the insertion of the superior rectus and by this injection the conjunctiva comes forward near the main wound superior rectus brittle suture is removed and now we are going to do the releasable suture releasable suture is just three throws and pull and cut the thread with the needle short keep the other thread longer and if you pull the longer thread it will come out these are three throws hold it here pull and that's it now cut the thread with the needle short very close to the knot keep the other thread longer now if, if you pull the longer thread it will come out thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills